recovery time. One of 20 hours. Maybe I do need to take bandages. I, I basically told somebody they were completely false because I didn't need bandages, but I think I do actually need bandages. I do apologize in the comments. I think I was wrong. I think that's the problem. Oh, I thought it was either or. I didn't... Oh, uh, it's healed. Wait, hold on. It's healed. It's healed. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I was completely wrong in the uh, comments. I'm going to have to find out who that is and apologize by name because I told him he was completely wrong. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. It might have been my old age. He took it really well. Like, and I was so sure, sure of myself. Okay, guys. Uh, the Astilius, I think is how you say it. So, yeah. Sorry about that. He was the first one. He's like, uh, you need to apply the bandages. You won't heal the ribs unless you apply the bandages. So I was like, no, that's 100% wrong. I just healed him in the last episode. Well, obviously that's not true. But once I applied the bandages, I did the painkillers, then I did the full 120 hours, and then I did the bandages, it, boom, just healed it. So that was kind of interesting because it went back to one out of 120 hours, which was kind of weird. But, yeah, I thought that the, um, I thought this was an ore. Let me see here. It was uh, bandages ore, but it was actually a plus sign. I should have been paying a little more attention. So, anyway... Never thought that I need bandages for, for that, but uh, uh, let's see here. Let's. Uh, I know you wrap them up and cut, try to keep them tight and things like that. Um, yeah, Brian Butler said uh, same thing. He's basically saying plus two bandages, uh, not or. So, yeah, he's pointing that out in the comments of the video I just released today. So, and then um, let's see here. know that uh, someone else was uh, saying that as well. Yeah. Um, so Wallace D actually said the same thing. He's like, you need to bandage this also. And he is correct. And then um, Joe Hampshire said, you don't need bandages. I know it says that you need it, but he forgot once and still healed the full duration of 120 hours. So I think I think Joe did exactly what I did, probably. I don't know. Um, I don't know how he didn't have to redo it, like, or just do the bandages at the very, very end. Which is kind of weird, because during the recovery time, that's the whole point, right? Anyway, we got to sort it out. So, it works out good. We, uh, we're fully recovered. Um, the weird thing is that Moose is, or the, the wolf is gone. Now, I don't, I don't think it was three days. Or I think it's three days before the, they disappear. If you don't touch him, but uh, I, you know, I shot him right, right here. I think, didn't I? Or is this a, is this his body? Yeah, this looks like rocks. Yeah, those are rocks. Okay, yeah, I didn't think I was walking past his body with that bag that I just pulled in there. Okay, so we're good. No afflictions. All right, that's fine. Live and learn. But it was kind of nice because I found the 11, 11 rounds of uh, ammo I stored in that locker. That I forgot about. So, we're going to go ahead and head to the uh, camp office. And uh, with our newfound ammunition. Try to get there before nightfall. And we're going to uh, come back here once that moose hide is cured. And uh, try to uh, craft the moose satchel inside the uh, hydro dam on our way back to Coastal. I wonder if we're going to get a growl. I think there's a wolf down here. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. I wasn't even ready. I, <laughs> I hit C to crouch because I've been playing freaking PUBG tonight. That's what I get. Only 88% health, so not too bad. We can move on ahead a little bit here. Just get out of his aggro range. I was a little worried about that wolf. Doesn't surprise me that we got into a tussle with him there. And we'll do the mountain. We'll go up the mountain here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the essentials that we want to take back to Coastal uh, from the camp office. 
spend the night there. Do some tough, make some tough choices with the inventory, and then we're gonna head back to coastal and try to live out the rest of our days on coastal. Oops, I accidentally went up the wrong hill. So yeah, I was completely wrong. I needed to uh, definitely put those bandages on. So apologies to everybody. Very public apologies. I wonder if I, I don't think I can go. No, can't go that way. I will. I don't think I can go around it the other way either. I think it's too rocky. I know I can go this way, so I'm just gonna go this way. And there's that. <laughs> there's the hatch that I found before. Let's just double check and make sure there's nothing down here. I don't think I left anything really down here. I could stay here for the night. You guys just want to stay here for the night? I think we will. Uh. Alright. Wow, lots of ruined food, but you know what? We could eat it all. Um, how's this little storm That'll measurement? Come in handy. 65%. Let's see what else we got. I got some water. Go for that. Drink it right now, actually. Yeah, we'll just stay here for the night. And we'll fill our tummy before we leave. And then on our way back, we'll probably come this way and fill our tummy yet again. And then do the same at the uh, with the moose meat that we have cooked. So we're going to be very well fed over the next few days. Because we're, we're not planning on coming back. So what I should have been doing, rather than wearing out my bear bedroll, is I should have been using that car to sleep in. Uh, I bet you that would have worked. Okay, so... Yeah, I am probably ready to get some rest. How many hours do I want to take? Seven? Let's do about seven hours, see where we're at. Plenty of food. Don't have to worry about the cold here. Under 43 days, 19 hours, 47 minutes. Not okay. Thought I was at 144 days in the last episode, but I'm probably wrong about that. 71 pounds. Got some of these arrows. Really, I should have left these behind at Hydro Dam and stopped there on the way back. Have arrows there. Why aren't these stacked? That's cured. Oh, because those are green. Okay, I got you. That's fine. Should have left those behind. I'm not going to leave them here because I'll probably forget them. And we don't really, we're not desperate for getting these cured right now. So no big deal. I'm going to drop these. I don't think I'm going to need them to distract a wolf now at this point. All right. So we're pretty well rested. Let's try to sleep one more hour if it'll let us. And it will. Okay, well, it must be light outside. Uh, what do you guys want to eat? Eat something ruined. Ruined condensed milk, that sounds lovely. All curdled and it's ba basically cottage cheese is what we got here. Nice, okay, ruined peaches. Yeah, what else is ruined? An energy bar. And some molded green beef jerky to top it off. Alright, that's fine. Alright, uh, what's my lantern at? I'm just curious. It's overall health. 87? Okay, we'll keep that one. And, uh, how am I doing on water? Oh, I'm fine. Alright, let's go ahead and go. 30, 40 degrees. Ooh, it's a, it's pretty nippy out. Alright, let's head on around here. Oh, there's a wolf down there. Heading towards the tracks. He's heading to work for the day. There's another one heading the other way. Nice. 
Uh-oh, we got the heavy breathing going on again. Got some creeper breathing going on here. valley right there in that cave that we've already checked so we're not going to check it again for those of you that might have missed that episode we have actually checked that little cave over there did we find a book there or not I can't remember I'm going to go down this way I think I'm just going to go this way that should be the uh, derailment right there with all the birds Fly, flocking around there. How are we doing on pain meds? Still got, oh yeah, we got 10. Okay, we're in good shape. Just in case I get one of those double sprains. Yeah, I'm really surprised it didn't, um, it, it, the time like started over one out of 120. That doesn't seem right. Um, and then as soon as I put bandage on, it's like, oh yeah, you're good. It seems like it should have given me credit for the. T well, actually, I shouldn't have got any credit until I had the pain meds on board and the bandages. And uh, then it should have started counting down the hours. Because just putting the bandages, wrapping those bandages around me afterwards. I mean, I don't know what that exactly does. So it's a little weird. Um, if I had done it right, it would have just worked out fine, but the, it's kind of weird the way that it worked out when I did it sort of out of order. Uh, we got a wolf down here, I think. No, that's a deer. Okay. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Let's head on down. And we'll be prepared to head on back. Hopefully today. I'd like to... If possible, I'd like to make it to... Uh, Coastal Highway today. I still got some really nice boots stored in the house that I told you guys about that I... Uh, have not got yet. They're like leather boots that like lace up. Uh, they're like... Okay, so we got these cured... Skins. I think they're actually better than the deer skin boots. I could build some of those here if I wanted to before we left. I guess we could do that. Uh, we got all this ammo. Another 27 rounds. So, how many rounds do we have now after this huge excursion over here to Mystery Lake from Coastal? Yeah, we're doing on ammo. We got 45 plus 10, so we got 55 rounds of ammo. Yeah, life's good. Life is good, guys. And then we have some more at Coastal. I do believe. If we don't, oh well. So we're going to take things like whetstones, sewing kits. I think we should be good there. I can always manufacture your own sewing kits anyway. It's not a big deal. But uh, there's a better roll if I needed one. Um, no, nah, we don't need one now. So check here. See what we got. I should probably take all this stuff out and throw it on the floor so it doesn't just disappear. Uh, just in case for some reason we have to come back. So I'm going to do that. I'll grab all this stuff. water I could have left in there, but that's alright. So I'm going to leave it all on the floor here. Because if it's in a container and it becomes ruined, it disappears from my understanding. At least that's what, that's what I've been told. Alright. I don't think that goes bad. Maybe it does, but uh, we're going to drop it. We're going to drop almost all this stuff. we got way too much weight to be carrying around. I think we can... Plus we're going to have to carry that... Uh, Well, I'm going to actually build the moose hide on at the Carter Hydro Dam. I need to let give it enough time to cure. So maybe I will build some boots here today and stay here for the night. Let it do some more curing. Yeah, we'll keep that MRE, I guess. I kind of like the MREs. Although, I just have a hard time leaving those behind. Three cups of coffee. They yeah, probably only need a couple. Yeah, we'll just use one. Okay, there we go. Down to 81 pounds. 
What else don't we need? We need. We don't need that. That's for sure. Let's move over a little bit. Take those. It's okay to have. Uh, I could use another bandage actually. In a pinch. Um, everything. Am I wearing everything? Not carrying anything? Yes, I'm good. Extra knives. A little redundant, but hey, whatever. I can break those arrows down. Make some more. While I'm, uh, might as well throw the saplings down to cure while I'm doing this stuff here, while I'm crafting. So I think I'm going to repair my wolf coat, even though it really doesn't need it with that wolf hide. I want to leave it behind. Uh, and then I'll try to make some deerskin boots just for the heck of it. I think the boots we have are just as good, if not better. But I kind of like to wear the deerskin boots just for, uh, you know, role-playing purposes, I guess. All right, so... Claw, rabbit, cured leather, five green. Okay, that's what I want to drop. There we go. I pick this one up, pick this one up, and let's build some boots. I think I have. Is that enough guts? I don't know if that's enough guts or not. We're about to find out. Uh, okay. Boots. I need four guts. Okay, that's not enough. Hmm. Maybe I won't build the boots. Maybe I'll just take the this with me. Is there a pound each? Okay. I'll, I guess I'll take those with me. I always skin them off of a deer. Closer to the house, but then I have to cure them. I don't know. I got... I got mixed feelings about this whole thing. That's cured, so that's not putting off any scent. I could take that with me. And then there are some more guts inside the trailer. I could build it there. At the Carter Hydro, Carter Hydro Dam. So I think I'll do that. And take that, take that. Alright, we're a little heavy, but let's go ahead and head back. I'm going to have to collect these. I think I got everything I needed. Let's grab this real quick and fill up our lantern while we're here. Refuel. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this here again. I break this down how much yeah it'll be a lot lighter I think it's 0.33 pounds now gonna harvest it yep Too much water actually. We can drop about a pound of that. That's gonna be eight pounds less. That definitely will help. That's much better. Okay. Since we have this deer out here, and it's kind of a beautiful day, honestly. I'd like to get going. So we have collected all of our ammo. I think we're ready to go. Just try not to get in another. I wonder if that, because I used the knife, I wonder if that wolf ended up dying. So I don't have to deal with the uh, bridge troll wolf again. I hope so, that'd be nice. Yeah, I was trying to... I thought I heard some footsteps, so I went into... I tried to go into crouch mode. I tried to, uh... Sneak past him. He was way too close. And I hit C by accident, which was like crafting or... What, what was it? Clothing. So, that kind of backfired. By that time, he was on top of me. Trying to rip my, uh... Trying to decorate my, uh... My chest with my, uh... Larynx.
All right, so far so good. Just following my old footsteps, actually. Part of me thinks maybe once I ran into a wolf up here. I can't remember. I think I did once. But it was a long time ago. Many updates ago. So things might have changed. I don't know. So when I come up to the bridge, I want to be looking for crows circling where they normally don't cr circle. Oh, there's another tree that's been had the bark rubbed off of it. For that moose. And someone said in the comments the moose do spawn in uh, multiple places. And they do respawn, it just takes a long, long time to do so. So thanks for the heads up on that. So we did see a wolf running around, or heading to work, remember? Towards the yellow track there, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to go down here and then cut up. See if maybe this route works a little bit better. sure if it will but we can try I see my trailer now these little whoops right here these little bumps I just they always seem to hide a wolf that wolf that I shot in the last episode I still don't know what happened to his carcass I don't think enough time passed maybe it did for it to disappear no, 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 see, no that's circling over the bags of horse meat. Now, when I get into the Cardo Hyder Dam, I want to... Okay, so we do have a deer over there. That's a good sign. When I do get into the Car Cardo Hyder Dam, I'm going to peek down there and see if that wolf dropped. I see those saplings there, but man, that's like danger zone trying to get down there. Oh, man, dang it. My heart just skipped a beat. I was looking up and I thought, man, this is going to be the time I get ambushed. And then I heard that. I heard Will exclaim and that crack. I was getting jumped again. Okay, well, that was pretty good. Nice, safe trip. Yeah, there's, so there's some birds circling there, and they normally aren't there. I, I bet you there's going to be they're circling that wolf I stabbed. So we'll see. Take a look here. Oh, it was a 62, 68. Okay, yeah. Oh, look. Cured. Mmm. I need one more. <laughs> Maybe I should get some more curing just to build those boots. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to cure those guts. Let's let's go down here and grab some more guts real quick and bring them up here. take everything and part of me thinks just grab that moose uh you know what though if I make the moose satchel here I can carry more stuff with me back to coastal highway so I'll probably spend some time curing these guts here and then I'll head on back uh and make the the uh, moose satchel, and then I'll be able to carry a little bit more stuff out of the out of the doodad closet here at Carter, Carter Hydra Dam. I'm not going to go all the way back to camp office or anything like that. I think I have pretty much everything I want from there. All I know is that I'm definitely heading back home a lot more than what we started with, so that's a good thing. Okay, so let's get this curing. Actually, I can just do it this way, I think. Okay. Two of those curing, good. And we got this curing. Wonderful. Yeah. Head on out here. Head over to the Hydra Dam. I do want to take a peek down there, see if that wolf is dead.
Oh, if the colors look a little different, I did. <laughs> I turned uh, vibrance on the GeForce Experience or whatever it's called, the control panel, up. Just to sort of give it a little more of a crazy, crisp look to it, like as far as the colors popping. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's dead. Wow. We can grab a couple feathers. Maybe pull some wolf meat off of him. Just for giggles. Man, do I have to walk all the way around? Don't make me walk all the way around. Just let me, let me get to him. Oh, gosh, you put a tree there, too. Better not just be sleeping. Hop up and start chewing on me. Yep. It's frozen. But I can tear it apart with my bare hands now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll take the hide and a couple guts. What the heck? Do it all. There we go. I don't know, I'm just getting a little tired of moose meat. Mix it up a little. See, I hit F. I'm still thinking PUBG. I hadn't played in a long time with some of my friends, so we got back on, because I was studying for the sergeant's exam, and the only time I'd really take, a, take time off was to do these videos. Between doing, you know, hel helping out with the household and kids and things like that while my wife was studying, me studying for the for the uh, sergeant's test I didn't really have much time to do anything else other than the one thing I would do is keep updated on this series so my poor friends they had to wait for a couple months patiently okay so the hydro that's a cloth in here. I think I have to drop those on the floor. I don't think they cure inside of a. Uh... Oh, that's wait, wolf meat. Okay, I forgot I had more than one thing. I don't think they cure inside of a drawer. That's cured, so. Oh, no, that was cured. It's gonna get lost in the middle of all those red cables. I'll put it up on top of the. Uh... There we go. I'll put it up on top of the uh, table here. Won't miss it there. There we go. And we'll put the... I guess I could have dropped these as well, because I'm going to actually put those up there also. Alright, so we got the cured ones and the, and the uh, fresh one. I just need one more to make the boots. And then uh, these, we have those in there. The, the uh, cured deer hides. The rabbit pelt, we can throw that in there. And that's cured. Okay, there's a fresh one down here somewhere. There it is. We'll drop that. Cured leather, that can go in there. Cured birch saplings. Maybe we can make some arrows while we're at it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then let's drop these saplings here. Okay. Uh, probably we'll forget those, but we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, three arrowheads. We can make three arrows. That's cool. Take that. Two, three. Take nine of these. There we go. Well, let's do some building, shall we? Yes, I need to make these first. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can actually... Yeah, I'm going to need to... Yeah, I'm gonna need to. I'm, I'm gonna run out of arrowheads at this point. That's okay. Wait, I do have my arrowheads, don't I? Where did I put my arrowheads at? Did I leave them back at. I only have three of those. I don't have to make a return trip. Yep. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. Made it back. Just a quick trip back to the camp office real quick. It was pretty uneventful. It just started to get a little uh, little snowy, a little windy out there. Other than that, did get a lot back. I forgot about the arrow chefs too. So we got a lot of work to, that we can actually do here 
Uh, but you can't can't even put all these in there, huh? Put them. Um, yeah, we'll put them over here, I guess, for now. We'll put these over here. There we go, and we'll make as many as we can. Uh, you know what? I might just carry those with me, so I don't leave those behind. I don't trust myself. All right. Well, let's try to make as many arrows as we can. We're starting to get a little bit tired, but that's all right. I don't know why I put all those in there. I'm just about ready to start making some arrows, so we're going to need 18 of those, 29 arrowheads, 23 arrow or crow feathers, so we're going to run out of feathers before anything else, really. Cured. Uh, I, you know, I can make another arrow shaft while I'm at it, too. Let's do that real quick. Get nice and tired. It doesn't say how much this is going to increase my weight, does it? Oh, it won't be long. This thing is, I got two guts curing. I'm going to need four. So I'm going to need another one for the satchel. So I actually need to get another gut curing. Let me do that real quick. Glad I looked at that. Let's run down and grab one more gut. I think, uh, hold on, maybe, am I carrying any? I think, I don't think I am. No. I want to, yeah, okay. So, we'll go down to the moose, grab a few more guts and bring them all back here real quick. And I think we're going to be in pretty good shape to head back to Coastal. We'll probably be here for a few days just crafting these little items up. I might not even need the boots. I don't know. We'll take a look. I'll have to look again. Yeah, part of me wants me to just have the boots just to just to have them. But plus, I think does uh, when you craft something like that, does that in improve your mending skill or not? Uh, when you like make boots or a wolf skin coat or bare bedroll, I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Let's just grab all the guts. I can make line out of them, and we can make fishing. We can make sewing kits and and uh, fishing tackle out of them if we need to. Might as well just grab them all, collect them all. I think we're on sleep pretty well in our in our truck there. Plus it gets too cold. It doesn't look like it will be. If this is the worst that Mr. L8 can throw at me, then we'll be just fine. I also went ahead and grabbed the uh, quality toolkit while I was there, in addition to the feathers, the the shafts and the uh, arrowheads. Whole place sounds like it's about to fall in on itself. Ooh, got a little dark there, didn't it? It's not going to let me craft at night, is it? Yeah, it sure isn't. But we can. What we can do is we can get the guts curing while we wait. I don't have enough room up there for all these, I don't think. So these, yeah, eight more fresh guts. Yeah, I don't have enough for all that. Start a fresh wolf pelt. Put that down here somewhere, too. All right. 
Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me craft. It would be nice if there was the Aurora tonight. I, I think we'd be able... Can I actually reach that? Oh, that would have been cool. But I never... That would have been somewhere I never checked. Um, yeah, I think these lights would come on for the Aurora. But uh, we'll just leave that for the morning. Plus, I'm pretty tired anyway. So let's head on back out. I think, is there anything I can do? Not really. Good. Try not to stub our toes here. So these, uh... These little, uh... Wolf meats are getting flash frozen. And we'll go to the truck. Now I wonder if those would have cured inside the truck. Like if I would have dropped them in the glove box. I should have kept one of those just to see. If it would actually cure inside of a glove box of a truck. Or the trunk of a car, maybe. All right. Now that we're back in here, now we can go ahead and look at our food situation. We got MRE. Yeah, we can eat on that if we need to. I don't think we need to, actually. Yeah, we got plenty of calories. Need to drink a little bit. And we'll pass a little bit of time here while we're at it. Got so quiet all of a sudden. Let's jump in here. 63. Yeah, let's use this. Let's sleep for about... I'll do about three hours. No. Let's pass time, sorry. Yeah, let's try two hours. And then if we sleep ten, it should be nice. Saving, okay. Now let's go ahead and sleep, but we're not going to sleep through the whole night because you can't actually freeze to death in the car. Uh, as as much clothing as we have, I don't know if it's possible really for us, but I'm still not going to risk it, so we'll just do four hours, maybe three hours at a time. Just a little paranoid. Under 44 days, 14 hours, three minutes. Everything looks pretty good. Do another three. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. No, not very nice at all. All right, let's try uh, two hours because it's dropping pretty quick, as you can see. Yeah, maybe maybe we just do one hour. I'm getting a little worried there. That's a cold blizzard, is what that is. As opposed to those tropical blizzards. Yeah, 32. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful about this. It drops. Wow. Wow. What does it feel like outside to get that temp? Oh, uh, it's probably because these are wet. No, well, they're not that wet. 8%, 14%, 6%. It's not really that wet, but still, we just need to be very careful. So we'll do it one hour at a time. If we had need to run into the into the trailer to sleep on the bed, so be it for the remainder. That's fine. Another drink. Yeah, I should have I should have just used this, but it's still not quite as warm as the cave. I don't think. Just kind of funny, but yeah. I guess it does make sense though, because it's just a big box, metal box that has air flowing all around it. Probably is not the warmest place to live. Yeah, 28 plus 5. We're, we're right on the edge. So we're just going to go an hour at a time. How are we doing? Eh, it's starting to get chilly inside the car. The question is. Will that give us enough of a warmth bonus, this, this imaginary bed that we're sleeping in inside the car? You'd think that I'd automatically get that 5% or 5.4 degree 
bonus added because I'm not actually putting anything else around me. The car's already around me. So, yeah, we're actually going to get cold here, I think, in the next hour. You're going to see it drop down to about halfway, maybe three quarters of the way down. It's going to. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think something's wrong with my eyes. Doing going to warm up a little? Not really. Not really. See, it started to drop a little. And we can only sleep for maybe one more hour anyway, so no big deal. Then we're going to go in and start working on the, uh, the arrows and all that. We'll go check the... Uh... Uh, it was really pretty. We'll go check the uh, hide and see where we're at with that. Let's see how these are doing. Fresh cuts. I can take those in there. 77. Oh, that's not bad. Take these inside. Let's try to keep it all together. This place has really come a long way from when it first came out for the Scout Corps. I mean, this was like, there was no fence. There was none of this stuff. There was that like little shelter over there, that little teepee looking shelter. Um, I don't think these were even here. These iron supports, I don't know. I don't think the, yeah, the uh, hook wasn't there. And it, and it wasn't, it was just basically this and the little, uh, the generator room. There was no, uh, the turbine room. Yeah, there was no uh, upstairs, um, or, uh, on the other side of the turbine room, there was no, uh, tunnel system back there for the longest time. And they, then they did add that, but, uh. Drop these a little bit more separate, so because they're a little, I think they're cured a little more than the other ones. Yeah, they are. 12%, 16, 16. Cured, cured. Okay, let's keep building here. Okay. I want to get like. By the end of this series, I want to get, like, gel taz good with the survival bow. So once I get back to, to uh, Coastal Highway and we start living out there and I start doing daily hunts or, you know, have, you know once a week hunts, I'm going to start using the survival bow. I mean, we have plenty of ammo. That's a great thing. We could survive for, like, 3,000 <laughs> 3, days probably. But uh, I do want to start learning how to use the bow get much better at it. Because if you haven't seen any of Jill Taz's videos, he's amazing with it. Pretty cool to watch. All right, so we're gonna get like seven arrows out of this. That's what we have here. No tool or I don't know. What's the difference? Would it tell me? Take a look at the claw or the. It took a little bit of time there. Let's try doing it this way. Yeah, it's faster. It's about half the time, isn't it? I say we just use that. That's fine. That's why we have them, right? That's why we have the tools. There we go. Gonna need a drink here in a second. There we go. most of the day there getting some arrows put together I could eat anything right now I have a feeling I'm gonna need a lot of arrows I have a feeling I'm gonna miss a lot we need one more crow feather to make another one I could probably make that happen let me run out here real quick see if I can make that a reality 
Oh, we got that. Let me check the arrows. It should be seven. Oh, we got a... That's arrow shafts. Sorry. Where are the arrows at? There they are. Seven. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can find another feather over here where we killed that wolf. Uh, I don't know. Maybe more than we killed the moose. blew away well I think there might be still some well I don't know it's a little windy for the crows do the feathers disappear when it's too windy for them to fly or do they stay on the ground let's go check the bags of meat see if they dropped any more I'm not seeing any but still a little far to oh I see one I see two. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to want two more now. Eh, uh, okay. Well, let's head on back in. I think we're going to need uh, a little something to eat tonight, so we might have some wolf meat. Might cook some of that up. And then see if I can get a fire going with the magnifying glass. So let's hang out here for a second and bust up one of these. Do any of them look like they ha hold secrets underneath them? I think this one looks like it might be. Yeah, let's try that one. Let's just use our hands. Can we do that? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, nothing. And it's too dark. Now it's, now it's too cloudy. Where can I find something to eat? Just start a fire with the, uh, the magnifying glass. Alright, let's grab a few of these steaks. I had a weird sound in my left left speaker there the left ear just curious about that oh pff, three feathers right there <laughs> and a fire striker we'll take that with us for sure cash need that cash some coal we can use that but yeah nah, nah, we don't need it right now five percent there yeah there's some stuff we can carry with us matches we can take back we have tons and tons of matches but we can take back a few just, you know, souvenirs. That's what I'm thinking. Antiseptic? Maybe we need some antiseptic. Yeah, we can probably use some antiseptic. Alright. So we're running heavy right now, but that's okay. We can still scoot if we need to. In the meantime, let's go ahead and head down here and cook up some meat. used to be a very, very scary hallway. Alright. I'm gonna try. Yeah, no, no chance of success. Okay. Let's give it a try. Because it was the 15% of the time that it doesn't. That's why, Will. That is exactly why. Come on. Oh, 
on, baby. There we go. Outstanding. That's plenty for the food that we have. Probably cook up some water too. Oh, I'm so I'm so lucky having that level five cooking skill now, not having to worry about parasites. All right, looks good. Uh, yeah, let's cook up a wee little bit of water here. Maybe a little bit more. We'll do, we'll do some more here. I'll add another piece of wood to it. Probably moving a little bit slow, I think. Uh, yeah, let's add some more wood. That should cover us for a few more days. I'm starting to get thirsty. I should have actually, uh, look at how quick it's starting to drop there. Should have drank before I uh, did that. There we go. Nine minutes left. I don't have any fuel to add. Okay. Was going to grab a torch, but. Yeah, we can't run. This, this is max. pack is getting too heavy to carry. This is max speed. I think we're probably 100 pounds. Oh, 90 pounds. Okay. That water added a lot of weight. Probably added about an extra, about an extra 12 pounds, 10, 12 pounds. Man, it would be hard to sleep with all that creaking going on in here, wouldn't it? Should have bust up onto these boxes. I think they have a better chance of having something underneath them. Alright, let's go try to get some sleep. This time, hopefully... Uh-oh. Yep. Looks pretty nasty yet again. We'll see, we'll see. Might be a night... Oh, <laughs> this might be a night in the trailer. The weather's starting to get a little cold out here. Negative 41 degrees with the wind chill. That does make that does make outdoor survival tough. What the heck was that sort of sound? I heard something thump thump over my right speaker. Okay, I'm hearing weird sounds. That was that was odd. What's it like in here? Okay, it's borderline. I'm gonna have to be very careful yet again. I'm not carrying all that meat like a silly boy. I was all stinky. That's okay. It's not saying I have any stink lines, but I do. All right, so let's go ahead and eat one of those. Eight seventy-five, four. Let's go with. Let's go with this one, I guess. There we go, and just top top off our drink there. And I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna keep some of my water right in here. There we go. I keep a pe couple pieces of meat. Glove box. Snacks, you know? That won't fit. <laughs> That's pretty much it right there. Okay. Well, that's about all we can do. Can't just drop it on the ground, can I? Can't stuff it, stuff it in the radio or put put a piece of meat up in the visor. Just a, 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 you know, half a rack of ribs up in there. No. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and stay in here. And it feels like 55 plus, yeah, wow, it's actually, feels, okay, warmed up, a little bit more in here, it's, it's warmer than I expected, honestly, so let's go for 
two hours. Let's see what happens. Ooh, got really nice. So pretty. Probably very cold. No, it's not that cold. Okay, not as bad as I expected. Uh, at least when I'm sitting here in this car, I can see the wolf come across the bridge at me. When he does respond eventually. But, uh, not right now at least. I really wish if you got too cold, you'd wake up. Because I would think in real life, you would. Wow, it's really pretty. Where the owl? What does that mean? Why are you playing that music, Hinderlin? Starting to get a little bit colder. Dropped uh, 13 degrees since we started sleeping. Yep. Daytime. Morning time. Got another another beautiful morning. Cold morning. Try to go in two more. Probably wake up fully rested. Let's see. No. Okay, okay so it warmed up a little bit, I think. I can't remember what the last temperature was, but... That's pretty. Okay. I can eat a horse. All right. Let me check. I want to check the moose hide. Seven. Oh, we're so close. We're getting really close. I'm excited. Getting excited. You know what? If that thing was sitting like a cured moose, I wonder how much different it'll look on the ground when it's cured. If it was sitting and I walked in, I probably would just think it was part like a rug. Like I wouldn't even think to look to pick it up unless I looked down there and happened to see the prompt. And even then, I still might miss it. If I'm in the middle of a good story or something like that. I have a tendency to do that. So, I don't think anybody, if I have missed one, nobody else picked up on it either. So, I don't think I've seen a comment that said, Hey, you missed a moose hide back there about 12 episodes ago. You know, the furthest point in the entire map that you could be from it, that's where it was. Let's check and see if the wolf has respawned yet. I don't think he has yet. He has a... don't see him. Of course, he might be just heading into work today, too. Hey, I missed one. Shocking. It's alright. We'll be okay. I'm running around with a piece of wolf meat on me. No biggie. 36, 36, 32, 39, 23... All right, not bad. Nothing in there, that's right. Okay, so what else can we make? Can we make anything else? Yeah, we can continue making arrows. Make make two more of those. Uh, nah, let's use the tools. I don't know. Are they higher quality? Or they don't think it matters. I think it's just how long it takes to make them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna have to check those stats again. I would just like to have those, I think. And I really don't need the deerskin pants, though. Those are actually quite a bit colder than what I have, I think. Yeah, they're not nearly as good. 
I don't know, do I really want them? Yeah, I know, these boots are much better. Uh, I do want those boots, but these are better. I gotta stick with these. I've already had this conversation before. I keep coming back to it. But I can't give up a whole degree, degree and like change, probably like 1.5 degrees of warmth. I can't really give, justify giving that up. Now if it was like 0.3 degrees, My stomach is eating itself. Less, I might build them just for that. I might build them just for the experience, honestly, and see if we can actually test out and see if it helps with mending. So I should have done that with the uh, arrows, all the arrows I just built. Let's see here, mending is at three. I don't think it helps with mending. I think only repair helps with mending. Same thing about repair time, item condition. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't say anything about actual crafting. I'm surprised there isn't like a workbench skill or something like that. Yeah, nothing really applies. Interesting. Okay, so we got all those arrows. I think we're just waiting on that. Yeah, we're just waiting on the, uh, the moose hide to cure and these to cure. So, all right. Well, what I'll do is, in this episode, I want to go ahead and end this episode here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and pass time and survive out here uh, while these cure. That way you guys don't have to sit here and wait for all that. And uh, then we'll get... Uh, when, we, when we start the next episode, we'll be ready to craft that moose satchel and start heading on back to Coastal to uh, try to survive the duration. So, like, comment, subscribe... See you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.